Hi, it's Rachel from Good Behavior Beginnings, and as you can see, we're all decorated for Halloween. Um, I'll have another video uh, for our Halloween decorating. Um, but this video is a week five update, so how things have been going in our homeschool for the first full month, I guess, now. Uh, five weeks in, we have um, made it through the first book. Um, part of our language arts section. We were reading um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and we did that for four weeks, and we started on a new book, which is The Phantom Tollbooth. Um, I like the language arts program. I like how uh, there's a manageable chunk to read, and then there's activities, and it's not too much, work and it's still interesting. So that's been working really well for us. Math is flying along, really, really enjoying the teaching textbooks um, presentation. We're using the online version and that works really well for our learner. We are continuing to review the first three lessons from uh, Spanish on Rosetta Stone. First three lessons of Spanish on Rosetta Stone. We've also added in some kids uh, videos with Spanish and songs so that it's making things a little bit more interesting. We are also, since we're getting ready for the holidays coming up, we are also going to study Day of the Dead and do um, a unit on that that'll be sort of culture uh, slash the holiday um, slash Spanish. So we'll get a lot of different um, aspects that we're going to work on for that. So looking forward to that, coming up with ideas, and I'll probably do a video on that in the future, what we end up doing. And then other than that, we have been doing a lot of science from Blossom and Root. My kid loves science, so we're spending a lot of time on the science stuff. Right now we're doing um, history before the dinosaurs. This coming week we're going to start talking about dinosaurs, and then we're going to move back to more current times and learn more about the animal kingdom as it currently exists. So really overall very happy. One thing that we have added this week was we started our pen pals. So we have started writing letters. We wrote three letters, um, mailed two of them. I'm actually holding on to the third one because I found out that they actually already had one in the mail to us. So we'll wait and we'll respond to that letter. Uh, we are doing, uh, we'll probably do like five or six different pen pals. I know that seems like a lot, but my thought is that we won't necessarily respond as quickly as people might want letters and they might not respond to us as quickly as people might want letters. So by having a few people, then we can work on writing letters um, at least once a week, no matter who we've heard from or who we haven't heard from. And that way we're not like spamming someone with actual letters um, before we get replies. So we're gonna kind of spread that one out. Other than that, like I said, things are going really well. I feel like we fit, um, we've hit a good uh, rhythm that works for us, that works for our family, and continuing to really enjoy the flexibility. This week I had changes with my work schedule where we ended up having to do a couple hours of school in the morning and then a couple hours of school later in the day um, because I had meetings earlier than we had planned for. So, and that worked pretty well on those days um, or on days when I feel like we only really have three hours because I got to jump into something a little bit sooner. Then we're just skipping the morning basket. We might do like one flashcard or the question of the day, but we're not doing all of those things. And then the good thing is, is that the last day of our week is Friday. 
dad is off of work and they spend as much time on things as they want to. So Fridays probably end up being more like five hours or five and a half, six hours with lunch in between um, in the middle of that because that's their pace and how they're doing it. And they also, um, my husband tosses in all sorts of stuff with um, tools and they've been building some things or playing around with hammer and nails and stuff like that. So um, it's a little bit more project-based on Friday and takes a little bit more time, um, but we get through everything that we want to accomplish during the week. And that's really our update. So keep checking in. Let me know how it's going with you and I'll see you in future videos.